All right. Um, so it's a good idea to combine mm -hmm. vendor certifications and vendor neutral certifications. Correct. Because the way I see it, at least in social media and YouTube, there's a lot of YouTubers, there's a lot of bloggers or these people, they're promoting vendor neutral only. Like, don't yeah. go for Cisco certification, go, don't go for Palo Alto certification because yeah. that's only focusing on proprietary technologies or yeah. one technology. Well, uh, like like I said, um, I think um, uh, vendor specific and vendor ne neutral certifications hold value, both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the position that y you do or want to do. Uh, f for Linux admins and engineers, um, vendor neutral is perfectly fine. For offensive uh, red teamers, offensive security uh, specialists again vendor neutral oh that's good but 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 for offensive security and ethical hacking most of these uh, certifications they're focusing on linux and hands-on lab yep now other non vendor neutral certification like isc squared mm. isaka comtia they're multiple choice well <laughs> uh, those certifications even though popular uh, um, I don't consider them security technical certifications. Oh, yeah. uh, they are more for uh, CISO, like uh, mm. managers uh, that need Leaders, to... Those who build and maintain policies. Correct. Policies. Uh, because if you want to manage security team, you don't have to have the technical knowledge how to do it. You just need to be good at uh, understanding business logic for some organization and uh, mm, knowing how to plan uh, and how to uh, communicate this to the technical team that will implement technical solutions. Mm. So in my opinion, uh, those uh, certifications uh, that you mentioned, they're not really technical, and uh, which is perfectly fine. We don't have to do uh, technical all stuff. Technical all technical yeah. all hands-on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's my opinion. Well, for the non-technical certifications, the ISSP or all of the certifications under ISC squared and ISACA, mm -hmm. um, or EC Council, which is, I'm not really yeah. a big fan, <laughs> you already know. Uh, what's your take? I mean, among all of these non-vendor or not vendor, vendor neutral certification, mm. which would you pick? I know it depends. Everything's yeah. It depends. Yeah, it depends. And to be honest, I, I, since I'm a very much technical person, uh, I haven't researched any of them, to mm -hmm. be honest, mm -hmm. much. And um, I haven't paid attention to them too much, even though um, if uh, many job ads mention them as se security requirement, uh, I mean security certifications which are required for the position, which to me is kind of uh, ironic because you want somebody to do technical stuff for security and you you put as a requirement those certifications and it, w it doesn't make logic to, m to me you know so to answer your question i haven't paid attention to the to them too much so i i can't pick i can't pick one yeah yeah but we agree it should be a combination Vendor and vendor neutral. Yeah, I totally agree. Like you said in your previous videos, mm, to start with CCNA, F5CA, and Security Plus, mm -hmm. which is combination of vendor specific and vendor neutral uh, certifications. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, I I see sometimes people on YouTube saying mm, some of them you don't need certifications at all. Knowledge is important. Okay. That is stupid. Yeah. Be Especially in the modern world. Maybe yeah. 20, 30 years ago, you can live with that, no certifications, mm, but correct. now it's different. Well, if I was an uh, employer and you tell me, yeah, I know security very good, I would say, okay, prove it. I'm not going to um, 
bother uh, like uh, asking you too many questions. Just uh, show me certifications, and then we are going to do interview. That's that's my opinion. Yeah. If you just tell me I know this, okay, I don't trust you. I don't believe you. You know, I, I need some proof, and certifications are good proof. Not only that you know your stuff, but uh, they also show that uh, uh, you have discipline to study. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you are focused. Uh, you have goals. You are hardworking. So uh, certifications sh- um, are display of multiple things, not yeah. just skills. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with you. A lot of people would think, oh, you can be good at something without certification. Yes, and uh, you can be good at interview without certification. Yes, absolutely true, but. The people who filters resume <laughs> <laughs> are not technical at all. Well, yeah. there are sometimes, but you, yeah. most of the recruiters, most of the this HR, they will just look at the best resume. Yeah. They will do the filtering. And if you don't have a certification, yeah. you will not even get to the interview part. Yeah. That's why certification I mean, is very yeah. important right now. Yeah, you you will have no chance to get the interview. Mm-hmm. Probably, I mean, I don't know, but uh, that's my opinion. And like you said, the uh, hiring manager tells the recruiters, "Okay, I need candidate to have this certification, this certification," and recruiter will just take a look at your CV and say, "Okay, this guy has no certifications." Mm-hmm. Very questionable. Right? Yeah, especially if you have uh, less experience. Yeah. Yeah, mm. correct. I mean, you can go by without certifications with a very good work experience. For instance, uh, you worked at Google or I don't know, whatever big enterprise before that, mm. and you are applying for uh, for a job in another enterprise. Maybe they will overlook. Uh, they will th- consider you. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think you will get a chance in the first enterprise without certifications. Yeah. If so you're just starting your career, yeah. <laughs> you have a small chance, especially yeah. nowadays where everything is competitive, yeah. right? There's a lot of competition, CCNA. Before, if you're already CCNA, you have a good chance mm. getting a network engineer yeah. position. Now, there are too many CCNAs. Well, I would I would say CCMP is now what CCNA was like. I cop- am... I, I agree with you. Yeah. Because CCNA back then is not yeah. even common. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now CCNPs are quite common. <laughs> yeah, n- nowadays y- you are almost born with CCNA. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and for those who doesn't have a CCNA, uh, I'm really sorry. You have a r- really small chance, slim to none, yeah. on getting your first job. Okay, unless if you are in the position where you have all of the advantages, mm. right? And uh, maybe you get a chance getting the interview and you nail the interview without CCNA or without your certifications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we go back to the to the fact that probably you will not get a chance for interview without certifications. So <laughs> it's a circle, you know? If you're in a big city, yeah, yeah probably not. Yeah. where you have too many competitions in applying this mm. uh, promising role, promising position. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, uh, I, I would say something else. Uh, for instance, if you have only CCNA, which we concluded is not enough to get you far, uh, you have a chance for employer to give you a chance, and then when you get hired, uh, uh, y- uh, they will uh, they will uh, support you on uh, getting uh, other certifications. Yeah, sponsor with other yeah. specializations and certification. Yeah. yeah, that's the uh, ideal. Yeah, but yeah. on the first uh, journey, first part of your IT career journey, you have to invest with certifications. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of people, believe it or not, don't like the idea. I graduated from college. I don't need this certification that I will pay, that I will invest. No, that's not the thing anymore. Uh, yeah, I think college is not enough anymore uh, yeah. for it's IT, for yeah. IT. Yeah, yeah. you have to, I mean, certifications are now a must. Mm, I agree. In IT systems engineering. Yeah, 